Mm. What's going on? What's going on? I'm live on um, YouTube and I'm live on IG. I'm live on a few different platforms. So if you hear a delay, just give me a few minutes. I'm just waiting for some people to come in. Snacks Mobile, what's going on? How you doing, bro? I'm just waiting for um, a couple people to get in. So just bear with me. Give me a few minutes. Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Richard Automotive. Um, I probably said your name wrong. Don't, don't mind me. Just give me like, uh, we'll give it to like 807. Make everybody get on in time and everybody get on the platform and you know what I mean? But how everybody doing tonight? You know, I'm the owner of One Touch Detail, if you guys don't know. Um, my name is Brian. Um, if you are not following me on YouTube, you can follow me on YouTube. We're live on YouTube right now, currently. One Touch Detailing. We're live on TikTok as well. Um, you can follow us on TikTok, One Touch Detailing. Um, we're live on IG. If anybody that's following on any other panels, you can follow us on IG as well. And we're also recording live on the uh, podcast. Um, you can find it on all platforms. Method to Success is on all platforms. So, um, yeah, we, we about to get ready to start this up, man. We've got three viewers in here. Um, if any detailers that's on the live, share it to any detailers that you think that would like to hear this live, just share it. Um, let's get the, let's get the word out there. Let's have a good live tonight, guys. Trying to get a couple more people on here, man. Just patiently waiting and, um, get to have a nice little conversation. You know, my boy Wash, you can request a live wash. I already gave like a little brief introduction. Um, request a live. I'm just waiting for a few more people to get on and we can start the live. And I want to say one more minute. We'll start the live. 807. We'll start the live full, full effect. Wash, you know any detailers, man? Share the live. You hit that little arrow button right there and share the live, man. You know, let's get this live jumping. Share the live, guys. 807, we're going to get this started. Wash, send me a friend request um, to jump on, please. Um, so anybody that's on any other platform um, that don't know, that's listening, we have detailers all across the world, California, Atlanta, Jamaica, um, Africa. Um, Drew Taylor, what's going on, man? We live on a few platforms. What's good, bro? How you doing? Um... I'm going to request my boy on. It's about to be 8.07, and uh, we're going to start the live right now. We're going to start the live right now, all right? I know a few people, hey, what's going one on? One touch, one touch. Supreme Shine, hey, what's going on? Supreme Shine Mobile Detail, how you doing, bro? Hey, if anybody want to get on the live and... um got a few words to say or got a few questions they want to talk about uh just request a live man we'll join you with a heartbeat hey big rooster how you doing bro nice to Shout see you happy new year man. Big Rooster. how you doing yes sir yes sir yes sir hey co2 auto how you doing man how you doing thanks for joining the live yeah man you know me and watch man we can talk we talk all the time and um Wash had a list of a, list, a couple of things. G Mobile, what's good, bro? G Mobile, my, what the hell? Jeez, I don't but Jeez, GQ, what's good, man? That's my fault. God damn, no hard feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading the name too quick. I don't... What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? <laughs> Ain't nothing much, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing much, you know. I got to tell everybody else, share the live, and if you want to jump on, request the live. Um, we got a couple of topics we're going to touch, man, and, you know, we're going to touch these bases, man. We're going to touch hey, these so bases. Hey, uh, so before we get started, man, I just want to shout out to everybody in the live, and uh, y'all could go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Washwork Shine Detail. I'm also on TikTok at Washwork Shine Detail, and you also can follow me on Instagram, Washwork Shine DTL. So, now we got that out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So hold on, let me, let me, let me. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna just go right into it, man. So, um, I'm gonna get right into it. To be honest with you. So, 
I came across a video this week, man. And if you are on the live, I'm talking about you, but I'm talking about you in a positive way. And I would like for you to request a live if you know that I'm talking about you. He on here. Call your name out here. But, yeah, 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 I understand that. But, you know, I'm not going to say that you are on here. I'm not going to make it noticeable if you are. But if you are, just request a live, and we have a conversation on towards what we're going to talk about real fast. This is not the main topic, but it's one of my topics. Came across the video to, uh, this week. And I seen a guy swim a coat in a vehicle. Nice job. But the vehicle wasn't properly prepped correctly. And the reason why I'm asking if the guy want to get on a live, if he's on here, um, because I wanted to know further details on why, you know, the comments was going crazy. The comments was going crazy. You know what I mean? So this is like your time to redeem yourself almost, man. I don't want to throw you on the hot seat, but, you know, you 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 went viral for a second, man. <laughs> you know what I mean, but um, you know, pro proper proper paint correction, man, or 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 preparation to ceramic coating, man. You know, I'm not sure if you well educated on that, but you know, I like I said, I don't want to call you out like that, but it's just a, it's a topic that I got to get that was, about. You know what I'm saying and that was unusual. You, you well, that was kind of like. Un unheard yes, of sir. in the detail world or uh, or uh, uh, never seen before this is like never seen before tv i was like wow but i mean you know not not <laughs> to nobody but you know you know as a detailer man you know you just kind of like wow you know jump on please man because i want i want to know your side of the story um you know i mean if you don't mind i want you to jump on please Jump on. I want to know your side of the story. Let me let let's talk. Let's have a conversation real fast. We're gonna know. I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. And I don't want to. I'm not picking on the guy, but he has his side of the story. The customer has their side of the story. And here we go. That's this. That, Shout out the hard to top detail. Shout I out the hard to top brother. detail, man. That's one of my guys. That's one of my brother. guys. Stay watching hard to top. We are gonna get to you. All right. It's not. It's not. Nothing crazy. It's nothing crazy. So my bo my boy is on here, so I can I can freely talk about it because you're on here, right? <laughs> so you ceramic coated the Tesla. It has swirl yeah, marks it crazy. It has swirl marks crazy. Your That's okay. I was enjoying crazy. it too. The blues was <laughs> going crazy. Yo, the first thing I seen it, I said, "Wait, what is going okay. on, bro?" I just want to know your okay. side of the story. Um, th this was a a new client that I um, she purchased prep wash and ceramic coating only. I said, okay. So I, I waited like a month for this uh, appointment because she had to take it to the shop. Yes. You know, because she had some chips in the bumper. She wanted to get it like fixed. I said, fine. So I said, if they paint it, you're going to have to wait for another month you know and she said okay IG so line. you know even the dealership said these things to her so i waited those couple weeks then she called me let me know to come so i came that saturday so like she said i know my car has a, a bunch of swirls but she said no just just do the only prep wash and ceramic coating and um, can I pause you there yes, for sir. a second? Bro, just hold yes, yourself sir. right there for one second. So when she yes. said that to you, right, did you think that was the correct thing to do? Was you like, oh, shoot, damn, I don't, should I should I still do the job or should I sell the, 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 the paint correction job? Or what was your, like, thoughts in your mind at that moment? Well, like, damn, like, you know what I mean? Like, um, I, took a, I took a look around on it, and yes, I I saw the swirls. Yeah, I tell her, but um, she still wasn't interested in the ceramic. I mean, the paint correction, and she, she just wanted yeah, so this prep wash, decon, agitating wash, and all that stuff. You know, tires. You know, all the prep and ceramic coating, and inside too, like like regular maintenance wash. Yeah, de detail. So th that's what. I did. Um, it took uh, like uh, I say 
three hours, three or four hours, because the car was really, really dirty. And the outside, it had a bunch of, ox I mean, not oxidation, like a lot of tar, like in the, uh, like, like, like down the car by the wheels. The wheel wells, you know, they had to be deep yep. cleaned. And yeah, and they had to be clayed. A I had to use some decon spray contamination, decon iron, you know, and, and it was very, the temperature was very good. Cause you know, I had some comments that they say, why are you doing yep. it in the sun? It had a little sun, but it was around 40 right. degrees. So the, the, the degrees was okay. You know, it was really cold that day. So, you know, I didn't need no canopy, none of that stuff. So I don't it, know, bro. Was, I seen it start. It was starting to rainbow pretty quick. I was seeing some rainbows pretty quick, bro. <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically, I, I man. We're basically, over. basically, man. Well, I, I'm gonna cut to the chase right now, man. We're gonna we're gonna stop dancing around it. Basically, man. Do you really think that was a proper thing to do with that client, knowing that that vehicle paint was in that in that type of uh, condition? Bas the reason why I say that because. This can, this rap this rabbit hole can go so far, it, it it really can open up a can of worms. And your name is on that job, and uh -huh. this is yes, and this is why we do, discussing this right here. This is for everybody you know that's new coming in or yeah. up and coming. You know, this is things they need to know. You need to know if you don't want to be bothered with that job. If you really don't want, if you don't put it like this. Never cut corners to do a ceramic coating job. Never. You need to explain to your customer, this is the steps that needs to be took for this ceramic coating to be applied on your vehicle properly. Because if you don't, man, you're going to dig a hole for yourself, man. I promise me. I promise you. You're going to dig a hole for yourself. So this is, it's just. Hold on. So, all right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Watch. Hold on. Hold on. Watch. Hold on. Watch. Hold on. Watch. Hold on, watch, hold on, watch. You, do you feel like you dug a hole for yourself? Because you know, the cop like the comments for what I seen, for what I seen, it looked like you dug, dug a hole in. So, do you feel like you dug a hole in yourself? Uh, no, because you know, how I got trained is like if they if they um if they want paint correction, I give it to them. But if it was an interest in no paint correction, but see that, that's the that's the problem I have, though, because now, if you was to paint correct that car, you have to wet sand that yeah, whole car it, now. That car cannot just simply go through a three-stage paint correction. It yeah. has to get wet sanded and then go through the three-stage process. So now you made that job a lot harder. Yeah, it could have cost a lot more. And she just wanted this, so, this prep so, and ceramic coating. I said, okay. So, you know, what? She said, but you know, they have they have packages like that too. It, you don't have to do paint correction and paint enhancement too. So I usually do more paint enhancement. Oh, of course they, they yeah. have, of course, of course they have those. But you know, those those are for vehicles that have no scratches, no swirl marks. Um, you can visibly see. All right, you know, I can swim coat this without having to even do a one step. You know what I mean? But that car was, I I, I don't want to call you out like that, but I'm like, yo, this shit was fucked up, man. Excuse my language. That shit was fucked up, man. I'm like, God damn, boy. And, and, you know, and, and we, no, we ain't trying to you bash know, you. We just, I know, you know, I know we, we, no, we, I just we want, yeah, I we follow each other. Up, and, I mean. and this platform is, is for situations like this. So we can get guys to not make those mistakes or get some type of, you know, uh, uh, thought out plan. You know, hey, one touch, you think I should t accept this job or do you think I should do this job correctly or you think I should just leave it alone? You know, sometimes, you know, it, it's all right to reach out. You know what I'm saying? Bef you know what I'm saying? Before you like, damn, man, I shouldn't even dig it or ah, I should have just talked to somebody about it. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been down those roads on some – on some mistakes before on paint correction, not not so far as ceramic coating or anything like that, but just you know, you know, paint correction period. You know, <clears throat> certain steps that you know that I should have took and I didn't, or whatever the case is. So you know, that's all. We just basically just really wanted to know.
what was the reason for putting pain over rust, basically. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, I, 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 I wanted, like I said, I just wanted to kind of redeem me and so because the comments, like I said, the comments was going nuts. And I'm like, you know what, man? I, I don't know. I don't want to comment, you know, not correctly. So I'm like, let me just try to get something to see what's go, what, what happened. You know what I mean? Why did the customer choose to go that way? You know what I'm saying? Why did you choose to go that way? <laughs> you know, so I just want, I need, I just need to know. That's all. Without having to, you know, sit here and keep pondering and wondering. And I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, let me just ask the brother face to face, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's all love, bro. It's, it's all what love. they want, you know. Um, you know, yeah. there was no pressure for her. Reach so, police. You know, I don't know if she's going to sell it or just, you know, she just wanted to surround the coach and, and prep wash. And Shift. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, next time, man, please, for the detailing community, please, don't even do it, bro. Don't even offer it next time, please. This, you know, add me, you uh, press me, and I'll add you. Hold press on, me. hold on. Hey, uh, hard to top. Right, we got hard to top coming up next, so we need hard to top to request uh, a lot. Oh, yeah. Whoever um whoever's getting on, I asked hard to top, but come on. He didn't uh come on, but whoever would like to get, come on, just please send me a request. I'll add you guys on. You know, everybody, you know, we're trying to give everybody a chance to come on and speak their uh they talk they they okay. they on. So be that you tell them what's going on. Yo, some of these guys too, man, I wanna know where you guys get your names from. Like Zodiac Detailing, like what what was the thought process on that? How you got that name, bro? You know what I'm saying? You know, like yeah, yeah like hard to hard to top detailing, I understand that. That makes sense. Hard to top, all right that Yo, you hard to top. I get that. But Zodiac, like, that's a that's a different one. You know what I'm saying? Grease, that, that's a regular dude. Grease, please. There's another dude on here that I seen. That was a crazy one. Hold on. Uh, where he at? It's another one I seen. But some people had to do with these names, like a name. Like, how you how the names came evolve? Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the meaning hey, behind the name? You got to do a name. It's hard to top a, a request. Okay. I think they got to do it to me. I don't know if I could do it like that. Yeah, they have to. You got. You got it, brother. Let me see. Hold on. I'm new to this. Thing. Maybe I can. I don't know. Hold on. Slow down. Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on. No, I... Don't kill me yet. Hold up. <laughs> I'm new to this. Shit. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. All right. I got Swift want to come on. I just sent hard to top. Swift. Let me see if hard to top want to come on. If he does not, I will um add you on. Just give me like two minutes. Let's see if he was. Yeah, here we go. Oh, the there we go. Up, there we go. Man? What's up, my guy? How you doing? He say, he say how, how you come up with these names, huh, man? <laughs> Look, it's like one touch, yeah. right? Look. Yeah. Hey, you try to wet. Yeah. You try to rest. Now try the best. On the top. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm bringing that energy, man. Listen. <laughs> For Pocket down here, look, yes, it's sir. about energy. Look, when I touch your car, I want the yes, customer sir. to feel me right. Energy. That's what I'm about, yes. brother. Yes. Energy. Come on, yes. man. Listen. Like yes. him, I don't care about yep. no money. They couldn't even give me a thousand dollars to do that job, right? I wouldn't have touched it. Nope. Because like you say, hey, look, nope. my name is on that. See, look, look, we we look, we as detailers, man, we need to have a protocol. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 the mm -hmm. Bible. Mm -hmm. Just like when you do steps, you don't you don't sweep the steps from the bottom. You start at the top. It's a protocol. Everything That's has top. to have a protocol, like yes, in the sir. army. Everything, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know where upon yep. the front. Where you from? Cuba somewhere? I, I see. I hear a little accent or something. I'm from Miami. Okay, Miami. Okay, man. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. listen. <laughs> we not here to, to bash you or beat you up, brother. We all here to help no. one another. That's no, one sir. thing about it. Because, hey, next one segment, we're going to get on them other people that, you know, just trying to come in and really saturate this this field that we know that we good at. You know what I'm saying? That we, we don't need certain right. credentials. Right. You've been doing this 20, 30 years. Come on, Green Eye. You know, my partner, Green Eye. Talking All of us. What I Talking mean? Me or you... No, and actually, my bill, it's the question. Somebody asked how much that's hard to do the truck. Mm -hmm. So... I get that question all the time, you know, to be honest with you. And I can't really give you an answer on how much to charge a truck. My best answer for that is 
Go to your local truck yards, bro. Figure out what they're charging, right? Get a guesstimate on what they're charging. Right. Get an understanding of what they're That's doing right. in their detailing packages, right? So when you go to do your de detail packages, hold on, let me, uh, uh, do you charge for AMG? We Man, you got to DM for prices, whoever you're trying to talk to, nah, bro. We, you're we not going to get prices on the line. See, but not to interrupt I'm a, you. I'm a, I'm a, see, that's another thing, too, right? How how yeah. everybody want to know what people charge, right? And, I, and everybody yeah. has different prices, right? Now, if we was like yeah. a union, right? Say, for instance, you yep. charge 350 he charged 200 but if we all stay yeah. in the same room, see, they can, ain't no cutthroats. You see what I'm saying? Bro. You see what I'm saying? Wash, what did I tell you? Why? I've been trying to tell you right. everybody should right. be within that $100 bracket, bro. Nobody should be, all right, bro, this is the bracket. That's you right. should 500 you exactly. should be Exactly. Exactly. That's, all That's the going on. right. Hey, That's the going on right. Bracket, yeah. And everybody could equally win. All right, full detail going on starting rate. X. I'm not even going to put a number out there because and, we got dudes trying to figure out numbers. Full detail on, going on. And then you ain't got to, you ain't got to, and then you ain't got to worry about what. Well, 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 Winter said he'd do it for 150. Right. Or right. Mark the Top said he'd do it. You no, don't have to worry no, about that. No and, and, and no that's what I'm bro. talking about. I'm about to cut okay. y'all off. You know, other people in their graphic, you know, they, 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 they cut us real, real. You know what I mean? They'd do it for 75s. 60 bucks you know what i mean right right and listen like i tell them we're not we don't we're not uh uh, uh like i say wash cars we detailers it's a difference we don't wash cars yeah, yes, sir. you understand me it's the a difference yes, sir. We detailers you know That's what i'm right. saying yeah but I, 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 I ain't gonna take over this. Look, green eyes, man. Listen, man, I love what you're doing, brother. Listen, man. No, 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 I get fired up. Listen, I got passion for this, bro. I love this, bro. Now do your thing. Hey, I love this. Do your thing. You got the flow, right? Hey, um, hold on, hold on, one second, brother. You on the bottom? If you don't mind, please, you can uh kick it like jump off so I can get another brother on, please. I don't want to just have you held up. Um, I want to give everybody a rotation. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You, man. Thank you we very much. We wish you, wish you much success, bro. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you oh, for hey, joining live, bro. Brother, yeah. Please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, man. I, you. I apologize, man. Listen, Green Eye, at one touch, I apologize, man. Listen, I just, look, I'm passionate, right, about this and what we do, right? And, and that just, that just, it, yep. tell him, Green Eye, it's, it's about our work. I just met this brother. We just happen to, we, we know each other just by, you know, passing by, we finally met. You know what I mean? And, and off the bat, we hit it off. We we share, hey, we share game. Hey, 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 no, I ain't gonna show this brother this. I ain't gonna show him that. But we in this field, man. It's about each one teach one. That's what I don't understand, man. You know, if I yes, know sir. something, yes, I give it up. I don't, I don't mind because you know what? You're gonna be blessed regardless. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know. I always tell I always tell brothers, man, I don't mind giving you knowledge because you know, somebody that's scared of you give you knowledge, they are afraid of you. They feel like right. you're a competition. Right. There's no competition around where I am. I don't have no competition. So where, where, There's no competition. From, we where, all where work you together, at, where bro. You, you know what I'm Okay. I'm all right. I'm in Connecticut. I'm in Connecticut and the reason I like doing what I do, bro, because right. I I grew right. up in a messed up neighborhood, bro. You know, and it's a lot of times we get drifted off and a lot of a lot of things don't don't get right. get presented the correct way, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start following people and doing the wrong thing when we don't know all the time, bro. You can go no. to work or come up with a great idea no. and don't no. have to be in no. the streets, bro. I mean, but we don't know that until we look at somebody as a role model. We don't right. have a right. lot of role models in the hub, bro. You're right. Them dudes are locked up yeah. and going now. We used to have them. They gone. The the, the right, police are right. them on the block no more. So now we got right, but now, Graham. This is the thing, Green Eye. Listen, we got these smartphones now, so there's no excuses. What so, so look for is none economic. It's, anything we want to know is in our hands. Let's don't be stupid. We got a smartphone in our hands, so ain't no more excuses, man. I try to yes, sir. teach young brothers. I, I I mentor a lot of young brothers. Come with me. That that you know they 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 you know they they on their way to prison right, and I'm trying to help these yep. brothers. Look, start your own company, do something, 
You're very smart. You don't have to do what you used to do. You see what I'm saying? We, we can change as, as men. That's yes, what's sir. about it. Mm -hmm. we are black men, right? Yep. We have to set the bar for our, for our brothers. Each one reach back. And we I don't care what we do. I don't care. We sponsor a, a football team, baseball, whatever. You know what I mean? We go out here and we talk to these young brothers, even the sisters. It's a sister. You yep, guys sir. can be anything yep. you want. All we got to do now about us as African Americans, we have to plan stuff. We don't plan, man. That's what we don't. You know, we don't plan. Nope. And I'm telling you, you know nope. how we is. We always on hustle mode. We got to hustle, 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 hustle. You know what I mean? We pay, hey, hey, we get enough money to pay our rent, our mortgage. We sit back five, ten minutes. All right, now let's hustle again. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> we got to get. Yep, hey, yep, hey, yep, we right, only right, got right, what ten right, minutes. Yep. Oh man, I, look, I just made <laughs> ten that, minutes. I just made the mortgage. Hey. The mortgage. Hey, man, hey. ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. And, 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 <laughs> and I'm sleeping on and, oh, yeah. and I'm sleeping on military time. Come on, man. Brother, yeah, brother, brother, get on in. What's his name? Hey, how you what's, guys doing? What's your name, brother? Big Chef. Big Chef. Big Chef. Where you what's from? going on, bro? Where you from, bro? Where you from? The oh. Bay. Okay. Bay we, Area. We all from the Bay. East, West. We, look, I'm from the Bay. This whole well, Instagram. One thing. Instagram. Instagram. Chef, you be in the East, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be everywhere. I yeah. mean, but you be, but, but, but when you be having your pop up, you be in the East, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. right, right, right. What area in the nice. East you nice. be at? Um, like uh, 105th, 105th. Yeah, all over there. Uh, I, stay, I stayed on 106. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, you out You out, You out? out here? Yeah, I'm from Hardy Top. What you mean? I'm from the <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> hey, I didn't want to bust you out, right? I was saying, man, you over here acting like a uh, top secret squirrel, like, you know? We had like he, he had like he was in the investigating room like he didn't want to give up no information. Hold up, man, this, this is this is a podcast, man. Hey, look, we ain't we ain't gonna come step on your toes or steal your customers, man. Freak out when he had your real life. Oh man, look, come on, we know you from the town. Look the way he acted. You ain't gonna criminate yourself, huh? No, no. Hey, 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 I'm just, I'm just listening. I'm just listening. <laughs> they gonna tell you about that dog. Look, that dog gonna get yeah. you. I'm gonna get you out your, out your shell, man. That's one thing. That's yes, one sir. thing. You That's like me? Good. Yo, man. I like the energy. Man. I like the energy. Person. Good vibes, no, I like bro. Everybody, man. You know? Yeah. That just me. You must be a cancer. Bro. I'm just energized, man. That you just must be me. Cancer. I'm the energized buddy. You know what I mean? You must. Y'all do y'all be a cancer. That thing talk, man. I'm gonna shut up. Hold on, bro. Come on, Hold this on. What's this time? Man, what you mean? Uh, yes. What, uh, hey. Hey. I, I was close. Right. I was close. Hey, hey. I was close. Right. I was look, close. Look. I'm hey, a cancer, so talk, I know. Man. Hey, hey. I'm, me, I'm a cancer, me, so I know. I get along with everybody, man. I don't That's care. right. Hey, hey, tell them. Green, I don't care if it's a KKK. If your money green, come on, man. I'll watch you. Let's go. Hey. All the top, though. Hey, hey. Yes. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, so man, everybody go here. Y'all make sure y'all go follow my guy, man. He, man, he keep putting it down, man, in this bear. Man, he been putting it down down, man. around here. We got to on, P. I Listen, I love what y'all brothers is doing, man. Yeah. I, I want all y'all, I you. want everybody to succeed, man. I mean, it's enough out here for all Thank of us, you. man. Yes, Thank hey, you. Hey, yes, yes, I got, yes. I got, I got you one touch. We gonna we gonna chop it up, man. And, hey, Green Eye, you too, brother. Secret Squirrel over there, man. You over there like you in the back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he don't know. I'm right, right, right on because I, I he don't see me, but I be seeing you, right. See, I be I, I be in so many different stuff, right? Green Eye, uh, he over there playing Secret Squirrel. Yeah. He know. We know some of the same people, right? <laughs> I ain't going to bust him out right now. So, so when, I, when I ride up on him, he going to say, oh, man, I know Ed. He going to say, oh, yeah. you ain't yeah. seen that man in the world, man? Yeah. Come on, hey, you I be moving so much, Come on, give it up, man. You <laughs> seen that damn guy, man. Come on, man. He Come on, seen that guy. Hey, don't be like that, man. Give it up, man. I hey, he up and down eight. Hey, he all day. He <laughs> like we had yeah, Thanksgiving and asked you if the potato salad is good. Man, you <laughs> damn right that potato salad is good. Come on, man. 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 Come
People ain't gonna let you go right now. Hey, 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 Podcast that's hey, we bring it in the fire. Tell it, tell it, get on here so we can see you. Get your ass over there so we can see you. Come on, man. You high, you do. Come on, man. Get in the camera. There you go. I'm in the camera, man. I'm always in the camera, man. Hey, you got got some pretty girl chiming in on here. She keep on chiming in. I hope that ain't your girl. Look, some pretty girl keep watching. Somebody over there. Yeah. <laughs> they want a detail, huh? This hey, dude, hey, DLQ, hey, hey, this dude, man. This dude, hey, man. Hey, 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 over here not, hey, I didn't bump on me with the pretty girl special. Oh, it's right a pretty now, girl. Man. I got the pretty girl special. <laughs> hey, you, <laughs> hey, hey, y'all don't, y'all, hey, y'all got nah, my kids over here girl. and some more stuff. Look, 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 look <laughs> we ain't just, <laughs> hey, 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 this PG, look, hey, we don't do no cussing. This PG, we respect Listen. everybody. Hey, you know what I mean? Get, Hey, Dion, Dion, that's my that's my youngest son. He out okay. here. And, Dion, and, he, and, he, and, he, and tell my... Dion what's up. That's right. Tell yeah, Dion what's up. Talk to the kids. Good, Dion. That, that's the that's the camera guy. Hey, hey, that's one nah, thing. Hold, hold that's on, one man. Thing hard, hard to talk, bro. Hold on, hard to no talk. Profanity. You know, we grown men. So, you know, we, we know how to carry ourselves, man. We have... Hard to talk. Hold on. I want to say I appreciate you, brother. You brought some laughs. No, you brought some laughter, bro. Yeah. Yeah. There's some yeah. people that needed that laughter. You know what I mean? Man. And we don't get that all yeah. the time. So I yeah, hey, get that. me out of here. Y'all cut me out of here. Cut me off, man. I'm gone. Hey, bro. like his screen. No. Hey, like his screen. I got somebody in the box trying to get in right now. <laughs> I got somebody trying to get in right now. I, so I, I, I see I, you, man. I, I, Yo, follow, follow me so we can <laughs> tap in. Hold on. Somebody else coming in next. We got all masters coming in next. We got somebody coming in next, man. Yo, let's run it. That was, yo, that, that was some good. That, that was dope right there. What's bro. up, we got a up bro? What's, we didn't what's up, bro? Oh, look at this guy. Hey, what's going on, yeah. man? Look this is my guy. business partner right here. What's going on? <laughs> I, what's up? Look at this guy. Hey, what's, what's up, going on, man? <laughs> hey. Oh, man. Hey, Hunter, what's, what's, what's going on? You know, I've been ripping and running and stuff. What? This is kind of like a party in here. <laughs> hey, what's going on, P? How you doing, bro? Man, surviving, bro. Surviving. You already know how that go. Uh, uh, hey, they said turn the light on, bro. Turn the light on. Hey, turn the light on. Hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hunter, what's going on? Hey, man, you got to so get in here next, Hunter. Hey, P, man, so how's your business been going for you? How things been going for you? Yeah, it's been going cool right now, you know, like, so right now, you know, I'll be doing the commercial accounts, so that's really, like, just sticking to nice. me, like, you know, that's nice. where my money coming in right now, nice. with the commercials right. and stuff, right. but pretty right. much, right. Bro, like, you already know how this shit go, the rain, been fucking shit up, <laughs> this rain been fucking hey. shit up, hey. but, you know, hey, that was, hey. Hey. If anybody don't know, hold on, hold on, watch, anybody don't know this kid, man, this guy was on the first Detailers Connect. When he first was starting out asking questions, man, and this dude just uh, blew up. He stuck with it, man. He stuck with it. He stuck. He stuck with it. He ain't give up on the process, I still bro. Got a lot of growing to do, you know. We 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 still got a lot of you know success to handle, you know. We still going up. It's just it's just up, you know. Like that's the only way, really. Right. You feel know me? Right. Like that's where anything. Yeah. What what's any what's any what's the advice? What's some some advice you could give somebody on the live that's just starting a detailing business where they, they feel like they could use some advice? Well, what 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 um, what words so, you could give like them? For me, honestly, if if you really have passion, if you gotta be passionate about this shit, honestly, you know, it ain't like a hobby. Like, oh, 
trying to get in and make the money. It's not about that. You know, it's not about making making the money part. You know? It's about loving the cars and loving like what you do. You know, and then the service you bring to people. You know, for yeah. me, like that's, sure. that's what that's what I would tell like like people like that starting their detailing. Like, if you really want to do detailing, because like three years ago I started detailing and then I got my basically it just just glued to me. You know, like something you know something just glued to you. Like you try to push it away, it's just glued to you. You know, and that's how it was for me. You know. Like and like, I just stuck with it. You know, it's it's ups and downs with this shit. Every year, it's ups and downs. But so you just gotta yep. keep doing it. Yep. Keep doing what you love. You know. And I, I say that's what, hey. everybody. You know. That's what I was about. That's what I was about to say. It was almost <laughs> like you uh, met that that one girl and fell in love with her. Exactly. Exactly. I yeah. Yeah. Her, uh, yeah. In the name, yeah. you feel me, Master P? Um, uh, so I, I got it from Master P. You feel me? You know, he a grinder. Real grinder, you feel me? Like, yeah. And shoot, the, and this just name with Master P Mobile Detailing is kind of like it's just not about the detailing; it's about the brand, you know. Like, I, I'm trying to make the clothing line, you know. Like, like, like that's the thing. Y'all name, y'all names got something valuable to y'all, you know. So it's kind of like you know, like you, yes. you got hats and shit. Like, bro, one yes. does, you got hats, nigga, badges, nigga, jet sweaters, nigga. You feel me? And like that, and that's what like I'm trying to be on next, you feel me? Because I'm still growing as a business, you know. Like I'm still growing, like. That's what's up. Uh, that's what's up. You know, it's all about branding. Shout out, you know, like you said, it's the perfect all about branding and, and just staying consistent with it. Going on perfect wash. Yeah, I'm trying to add them Shout all, out to perfect mean, wash, man. Thanks for the support, oh, man. Boy, Thanks for supporting the platform. What's, what's going on, wash? Trying to, add, trying to add him on. I try to send him an invite, but I don't know if he's busy or. But you know, send him an invite. But you know, it, it, um, with, with with all the, you know, you see the hats, you see the hoodie. Yeah. It's just all about branding, man. And to be honest with you, the hats and the hoodie started as an idea of yeah. me yeah. wanting to do more pop ups. You know, I kept going to pop ups as a service, and I'm like, yo, I got nothing to offer. I see all these dudes around me selling stuff, like. You know, I want to go to pop and sell something too. So, real, be honest with you, that's how the the branding really started. It started off an idea of yeah. me being at a pop up shop yeah. and not having nothing to sell. And I'm like, you know what? I gotta have something to sell next time I go to a pop up shop. So, you know, yeah, just it, think of it. You know, whatever, whatever it is, it is man. You know, it's just, that's, like, what, that's what that's what drove me to. You know, our yeah, goal, you, you know, know, is to like. Like for me, like let's say the like the clothing line, I want to make a clothing line out of this brand, you know. So with me, I got and that's that passive income you talk about, like you know, like you feel me, like shit, like you yep. want, you want people to click, you want people to wear your shit, you feel me? I want people to wear my stuff in the gym. I want yeah, people to wear yeah, my yeah. stuff nigga, when they go out to eat, stuff like that. You feel me? Like so that's that's why I'm like, right. making my brand in different type of seasons. You feel me? So that, only thing I, if I. I could tell somebody on this live today, bro. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna tell somebody right now, like, yeah. write, Definitely. write this stuff down. Like, your step. I mean, like, you gotta have a plan. Process, write you it mean, down. You gotta, you, oh, you gotta have a plan. Not, 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 not even really the plan, but like, hold on, not, hold on, hold on, not even really the plan, but like, for instance, mm -hmm. it's my detailing steps. Write down your steps on how you do your detailing. Write on, write down like. The steps on how you get your product because what you're doing is you having your steps all in place and you setting yourself up. So, God forbid, something was to happen to me, my girl, my son, my mother, you can go to my book. All right, this is how he ordered his oh, stuff. Yeah. This is how his packages ran. This is how, nigga, you can go to my book. You could train somebody. All right, perfect book. wash. So, we got you, perfect right wash. Now, step by step. They limited. Hey, listen, you know what I mean? Write your stuff down step by step that way. If you ever got, even, even, mm -hmm. let's just say training purposes. You know, okay, I detailed a car. What I do when I first started to detail a car? Whatever you do when you first start detailing, you open a door, write it down, open a door. It might yeah. sound stupid, but it's going to make sense. I open a door. You know, I get my air gun, I vacuum. You know what I mean? Step by step. So that yeah. way, whenever you got to get to training, bro, you got everything already mm -hmm. written down. You don't got to. You go kill yourself. Yeah. You got it yeah. written down already, bro. Yeah. So now you can hire somebody. And that's where we fuck up at. I'm going to be honest. That's where like we having fuck up at. And I'm journal. We don't write stuff down. We don't prepare ourselves for corporation. We set ourselves up for small business. We need to set ourselves up for corporation. Yeah. Well. Corporation. Me and Washington, the thing to this weekend 
it's a corporation about mm -hmm. to be starting up. They already started, bro. And they doing mobile detailing, Br oil changes, and, and, and uh, exactly. what was the and you implementing other things besides your detailing. You know, you offering different services to people. And, that, and, 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 and not, you got to uh, have a wide right. variety. You know, you got to expand your... Basically, you guys not not only <laughs> not only as they coming in the game with uh -huh. the mobile detailing and offering those type of service, but they coming in the game with a massive quantity of service vehicles. Yeah, one it's, it's, company popping it's, up. It's, they come. They, they, one, they it, exactly. Like Amazon. They got a whole. Oh, they got man. One company right? popping oh. up with 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 twenty vans from a small hey, from a small hey, van to a, to, to a large that's, van. That's, Twenty vans could be one day. In cut throw, cut throw, cut cut oh, throw yeah. in the market. Oh, yeah. And I've been said this two, three years ago that corporate America had their eye on the detailing market. They watch. They sit back and watch. We underrated. They sit back and watch. Oh yeah, we, well we underrated, but, but like now, <laughs> now that. Now that they got that, no, I'm gonna tell you the, this. What, this what gonna be the next is, thing that's gonna is, pop up, and, I, and, 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 and and this is gonna be the next thing I, that I feel that's gonna pop up. Now that they come with these corporate mobile detail packages and pop up places, whatever, somebody gonna come with a bag just like they did this company, and they're gonna start a detail academy, yeah. teaching people how to detail. Because we don't go, we ain't went to school for this. We didn't well, go to school well, for this. Well, they, 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 they already having that right now. Yeah, they already they, doing they, that. They, they doing you that. Got right they got King, got you got they Detail King. You got Detail King. Uh, yeah. Ceramic Pro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I yeah. know they doing it, like, but I'm saying yeah, it's yeah, going to be on a bigger scale, yeah. though. They, they basically, like, like you said, it's going to be on a broader scale. To train them. And you mm -hmm. feel me? Some some people is c comfortable with making nine thousand a month type stuff. You feel me? Some people comfortable with that. You know, right? Like, and hold, that, hold. And that's the thing about certain people. Like with me, I'm not comfortable with nine thousand in my pocket a month. You feel me? Because like, uh, I'm success, not, successful I'm, I'm people just, ain't I'm never comfortable. Way more than that. You feel me? Like like I, I just see bigger shit. You feel me? Like it's not like it's different. Honestly, it's just different. You know? Hey, anybody else want to jump on this live, man? Throw a couple fire emojis up if anybody want to, you know, jump on this live so you, so we can know that you want to jump on. Hey, Shiv, what, uh, I'll hey, break it. what's up with I'm Brother Shiv? I'll break it down a little bit, bro. I'll break it down a little bit, man, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? What it is is, is corporate America is watching, bro. Just like how they tell you TikTok, they, they got the Chinese or the Russians are spying on us with the TikTok. It's the same thing corporate uh, America is doing with, uh, with social media in general. They're, they're watching what we're doing. They're watching our numbers. They're seeing what we can sell. Oh, yeah. They're seeing what we can advertise. And they're saying, yo, yeah. we, could do, we could do that. Anybody could do it. We got these regular dudes washing cars. That's how they yeah. look at it. We're washing cars. We can yeah. do that, too. That's how they look at us. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like, you know what? Why we keep giving these brothers this opportunity yeah. where we can do that ourselves and monopolize the money? I'm gonna break yeah. it down and be yeah. real with you. That's how they're looking at it. And they always so went all along <laughs> when <laughs> that's the thing. That's the and, I'm, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm gonna go deeper real fast. And I'm, I'm saying this because all along when you know we signed really? up when we did our LLCs, right? We signed up as LLC. We didn't think about doing corporation or S corp or nothing like that. So we got to start changing our mindset for bigger shit, bro. And not just thinking, yo, I'm going to just worry about getting a little small business and I'm going to get five grand, 10 grand or X amount. You know what I'm saying? So we think corporation, bro, we we, we already setting ourselves up for win, man. And you know what I mean? It, it's a long, it's a long way to think because, you know, a lot of us, we, you know, we, we was in the mud, bro. But if we was had that mentality from start, Imagine yeah. where we would be at right now. It would be no other way. I could be putting five, six, seven guys yeah. on if I if I started a corporation. Hey, you can y'all can still hear me? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I can't hey, hear you hey, uh, How long you been in the game for? Three years. About to be three years. That's that's big. That's that's oh, that's okay. legit okay. wise. LLC wise. How long you been not, though? Not, I mean. That's what I'm telling you. I've been detailing for about uh I'm 30 something. I ain't gonna tell you my exact age. So I say probably okay. over 18, 20 years, bro. This as a hobby, but professionally at uh -huh. professionally, 
three years. But ho hobby wise, like 18, 20 years, man. Since I was a, since I was a kid, like since I was in my mom's kitchen with a fucking oh, mouth soaking water. What's going on, bro? Like grabbing 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 a t shirt to wash the car, bro. Not even a fucking rag, a t shirt. Hey, uh, hey one time. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, to what you were saying about um, um, corporations and stuff, um, I've had this conversation with um, with uh, Wash and uh, Master P. Um, it's it's real important that we we uh, we focus as a as a community. If you want to think corporate, uh, because if you think about all these corporate um, detailing facilities, they they're all they pretty much at one point in time were their own individual brand. So what they did was they they came as one unit to build a bigger brand, and and, and that's what us as African Americans, we we so selfish, we so selfish. We so selfish with the things that we do that we we overlook the um the the, the bigger prize. The bigger you like, opportunity. You, got, like, you have my guy. Yes. You got my guy. Wash. He 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 invented. I don't care where you seen it at. He invented the bucket extractor. He invented yes, the bucket extractor. Yes, sir. So so it, 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 yes, how we can help how we can help is we can hey. buy what he's selling we right. can buy what he's selling and help him help him fund oh. help him push out to get his bucket on a higher scale to where he's promoting classes to where he's setting up he's setting up um he set up classes. He's traveling, you know, and that's that's part of the marketing spot. We all think that detailing is just you popping up to somebody's spot, doing a real good job, and then you take your home money. No, it's bigger than that. That's the that's the simple yes, stuff. Sir. You went about your marketing portion, you know. You you gotta market your brand. But if you have a unit of people that will come yep. together that will help you market on a higher scale, that that gonna eliminate somebody trying to push you out the way yeah yeah just yep. really pushing your brand you, honestly, you said something the, too bro you said that you, you said something too brand. hold on my bad <laughs> you said something about important like um my bad hold on you said something about like um people being like self you know and yo it, it, that's the that's a lot like i hear that a lot yo you know what i'm saying and i don't want to call no, nobody out but I hear that a lot. Yo, I, my van costs this too much. I can't let anybody drive my van. Yo, I got extra amount of equipment here. Yo, Best Buy do it. Target do it. Amazon yep. do it. UPS do it. So why we can't do it? Why do we kind of say, we're using an excuse. We're using an excuse at this point to say, oh, I can't hire an employee. Oh, oh I can't Get a second van. No, we got to figure this shit out, bro. And let's start scaling hey, our please. business up hey, at the next level. Hey, one touch. You know I mean? Hey, 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 P. Yes. Can you jump off so we can get uh, Hunter's on? So we can yeah, get Hunter's yeah. mobile on? I'm going to hit the gym, so I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's get Hunter on. But, you know, you know, we all have a fear, bro. We started a business, right, all with fear. So why are we fear to grow our business even more? That's going to bring us to the next level. Another van. Workers, we getting older, bro. I don't care what age you at, whether you're 20 or you're 50. We don't do, do this shit to work till we 75 years old, bro. So if you can get an employee and set that employee up for correction, bro. Why not do it now? Why? Here, here, here's here's the, the 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 fear part of what you were saying, and I mean, uh, I'm I'm Christian, so I believe in the Bible and stuff. So when it when it comes to fear, uh, the Bible tells us we 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 fear because we have a lack of knowledge, and uh, we don't want to read. We don't want to. We don't really want to understand the root of a problem. We 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 just look at ourselves and how to make the the quick dollar, how to make the kit the quick scheme, how to get in, how to get out. But we really don't understand the value market of what we doing or what we selling. We don't want to we don't want to educate ourselves. But that's the part. We don't want to spend we don't want to spend five hundred dollars to go travel to sit into a class to teach us how to paint 
paint correct. We'd rather yeah. go in the backyard correct. and mess paint paint up correct. on our own vehicles rather than to invest in somebody that's professional, which could be we, we could go and sit in right. and, and and help um um sit down and understand how um wash wax um uh, created a bucket extractor. Not not to be a competitor, but just to understand, you know, there's different areas and different revenues on how to market your business. And it doesn't always have to be you going out to learn how to market detailing. It can be anything in life. Learn how to learn how to market uh, your clothing line. You, uh, I see everybody. Uh, Hunter, yes, he got his brand on yes. his head. You got your brand on your head. Uh, me and Wash, we empty-headed, yeah. but but yeah, just I got mine, uh, huh? yeah, it's over here somewhere. It's over here somewhere. But you, okay. the, you have to learn how to brand yourself. You can't just go out there. And just say I'm, yeah. I'm a detailer, and just expect somebody to to uh, to promote you. You gotta know how to market. And how you do that? You gotta do that by understanding. And the Bible te teaches you that. It tells we we perish because we don't have the knowledge to do it, and we don't want to do it. We don't want to read. We, when the last time one of us or somebody that's on here picked up any kind of book and just actually thoroughly read it. That's been my problem. I, yeah. I just want to work. That's the problem. And me sitting myself down and doing exactly what you hold said. On, hold on, hold on, Hunter, man. Problems. But one, one second for you talk, man. Anybody that's not on this live and don't know who Hunter is, that's Hunter Molo, based out of California, man. Um, want to get this yes, guy sir. a introduction, man. And he started started from the bottom, and he, he blew up crazy. His YouTube is crazy. If you don't know, check his YouTube out. Um. He, the guy does over, and over. He got our live up to fifty um, people in the box. He got his whole team. I had to give you a proper. I had to give you a proper introduction. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I appreciate it. Man. Yes, sir. All oh, glory to God, man. Thank you. Yes, Thank sir. you. Yes, sir. But yeah, I was just uh, uh, agreeing with you on that. That that's where I've been struggling with because I want to go, go, go. And I want to start the next thing, and I want to just do it, do it, do it, and I don't sit down and settle and read. And my Correct. problem has been there's a lot of guys around me, right? But none of them are farther than me. So how am I supposed to progress if I don't have the example? You know what I mean? That right. Person that can give me that info too. I don't have that around me right now. So everybody that around me right now, they're like, "What? What's next?" And I'm like, "Bro, I'm I gotta learn this. This I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get that. I, I, yeah." Right. I, I, you know, I work, I work backwards. I mean, you know, I got the employees and I didn't do the payroll. You know what I mean? Go, right. go, go. So I literally mm -hmm. had to start all over, let everybody go. You know wow. what I mean? And, and learn the payroll and learn all this little stuff that I just didn't want to do and do the homework. Like you said, right. I just right. wanted to work. Right. So, I, you know, I'm thankful to experience everything. Like I had six employees, bro. I had three vans going, bro. I had it. You know, somebody doing the phone call, somebody right. I was doing it all. And I got to sit back and I'm like, wow. But I didn't have nothing set up properly. I didn't I don't have no guidance. My parents, right. nobody did business like that. You know what I right. mean? But I had no fear. I had no fear of doing it. But you know, you know what I mean? I wanna cut you real fast. I wanna say because my mom always tell me, cause my, my business is growing as well too. My mom always tell me Hey, you need to slow down. How you going to manage? I said, Mom, I'll figure it out when I get there. I, I, mm, I, come I, on. I started come from on. the bottom. To just come say, on. No, no, I can't take on them work. No. But, you know, what you did was, was crazy. You you had a ploy, you, you had a building, you had three vans. You did everything that we're trying to, we're talking about right now. Mm. You know what I mean? Getting to the next scale of having one van or just having a shop or working out your garage or, you know what I'm saying? To get to the next scale and have a bigger mindset. So don't beat yourself up for trying, bro. You try, bro. A lot of people right. don't take that step and try. You try, bro. Mm, so exactly. you gotta pat yourself on the back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you gotta, not, it, it, it's not that he tried. Sure. It's not that he talked about it. He, you, you, you walk, you walk, right walk, right you now, walk the walk. You, you just didn't talk it. You walk, walk the walk. You. Right. Listen, write a book right now on listen the browsing <laughs> arrow on detailing, man. I gotta give you a title. Let's go. <laughs> the on detailing, man. What Come what on. to do and what not to do. Hey, but that's what my YouTube is about, bro. Let's I'm go, man, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. That's what, that's no, exactly what because I'm talking about. It's, it's each one teach one, bro. You made a mistake. Now it's time to learn for your stake and build yourself up ten times higher. 
Ten, exactly. Now you're going to be the next corporation. Exactly. Oh, I had three vans. Okay. I figured out what my mistake was. Oh, I know how to do this. So now you're going to come back like the Superman. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you got all the information. You did mm -hmm. the research. You read. You made the mistakes. Hey, where your uh, 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 where your new shop at, uh, uh, in Sac? I'm a, I'm gonna pull up on you because I'm in Vallejo, so uh, yeah, I don't I know you in Sac. I know, I know, I'm in Vallejo. I'm 45 minutes away five, from. Hey, hey, hey. come on, I didn't, okay, five, five uh, six one, Arvin. Say less, right. so I know that's that. That's that's that. That ain't nothing. That, that's a hop yes, skipping the jump. I'm gonna pull up. Hey. hey. <laughs> That other shop got shut down. I found one five minutes up the street from it. Nice, bro. nice. nice Carried nice. that stuff and yeah, built another I... one. But the only thing I'm missing is is the garage, you know. But I'm gonna open nice. up that so that that's coming soon too. Once we get this nice. established, I'm just gonna slow down now. I know I can do it. So I'll slow down and, and, and scale right, and right. do it the right way. That's all. Right, right, right. Like right, you right. said, you've been through your trial and error, so you yeah. know, you know, you. you you learned a lot from your your first your first you know, journey we, with the with the shop and the store and your truck, multiple vans, multiple employees. So you know you've been down those paths right now. You know and yeah. it, and honestly, you got a lot to share to with you know to others that's trying to that's trying to get to those those steps and, and get to those places. You, let, me, let me ask you a question, Hunter, because I don't, I don't know if you go through this or not, but you ever go mm -hmm. through a peak where it's like it's way up here and then Ooh. it gets down and it goes down they go way up here again then it comes down and it comes down i'm trying to figure out how to keep that peak up here not let the peak come back down that momentum pretty much what you say not even the momentum it's just like we we go crazy we know how to get the get it, the volume up there and then once the volume you. get up there we bring it back down for some reason you talking about like your energy or your drive, not, your, not the, the energy, the, just like the customer. The consistent, like, the, the consistent people. Oh. Like, watch just base. said it. Watch just gotcha. said it. Is it, you? You have to be consistent. You have to be consistent, and I mean, you you answer pretty much your own question by what you said earlier. Is you got you <laughs> the, the, the the Bible says to write the vision and to make it plain. So, so in order in order for you to be consistent at anything, it has to be. We are visual people, so it has to be in front of you. So, so whatever whatever you doing, right. if you write it down, stick stick to the script, and and try not to try not to 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 match what you doing next to somebody else. Just focus on what you doing. What never, pay, pay attention never, to what never, pay attention to never. what what's working and what's not working. Pay you gotta pay attention to that. Yo, are you a preacher? No, no, no. Going in, or you hard to top going in, or you just is this man a preacher? <laughs> no, but it's it's serious though. Like because we we make so no, no, we make a lot of no. stuff difficult when it shouldn't be. If we just stick, if we just stick to the right. roots of 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 marketing and business and just building, everything else is gonna fall in place. You got the you got to the top for a reason. Exactly. Exactly. You right, failed right, you right. failed because you you slacked up somewhere and you wasn't consistent and it wasn't in your face for you to correct. Come to Billard. I'll be honest with you. Hey, hey, before we go any uh before we go any further on this live, everybody on this live, make sure y'all go follow my uh, YouTube channel, Watch Wax Shine Detail. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Watch Wax Shine DTL. Make sure you follow me on TikTok, Watch Wax Shine DTL. Let's go. Yeah. No. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know, you know what I realized, bro? Once you reach a certain point, like when it comes to business, like and you, you follow Christ, like everything, bro, everything you do is blessed. Like literally, yeah. bro. I can go and jump and go jump and do something else right now. I came from vending, blow up, I go to this. It's really it's really like you're driving yeah. that you well, lazy. So lazy, bro. Yo, it's, it's crazy. As simple as that. I was yeah. I was it's literally like, just sitting here thinking, I'm like, yo, I could go start a security company. I was just, just playing around, but I'm like, I exactly. could go start a security company. And my girl was like, What? I'm like, I would start a security company <laughs> I need to make large deposits to the banks. You know what I mean? We're gonna have a firm and we go armed and we go to listen, it's a real business. <laughs> like, exactly. but I'm like, no, you can 
really start anything. As long as you have the creative mindset, you can really just say, you know, I'm going to start this. But make sure it's profitable. That's it. Exactly. Don't start a well, um, business because you have a great idea and you feel like, I'm going to sell art for $2. Where's your profit? You got to make sure you have profit in your business. And the main, main thing, what do you want it for? That's, yes, that's, that's, yes, that's, yes. That's, that's, the, that's the thing that I always, you know, when I'm talking with Christ, like, what do I want this for? Do I want this for my selfish gain? Do I want this to show off? Do I want this, hey, like, what do I really hey, want? Hey, right. You know what I mean? Right, correct. Because it never, it never. Hey, because, it, 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 because cats it don't realize is. you will not get blessed that way. God, 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 exactly. God, not, God, not gonna, right. God, I mean, not gonna give a fool <laughs> a million dollars, cause he already know what he, he already know what you gonna do with it. Come before on. you give it to him. You know, gonna do it, right? He give you what you can exactly. handle. Exactly. Like, He's not gonna yeah, give you right. no more than he can handle, you. and that's just like in, in, in any situation. Right. Dude. Hey, he's not gonna put no more on no plate than he feel like you can't eat. Whether it's whether it's taking care, of what, right. whether it's providing for your family, whether it's pro, uh, a job, whatever it is, he's not gonna give you no more than that, that you can't handle. He's gonna give you enough. It's just you know you gotta you gotta lock into your blessings and recognizing when you see them. The, um, there's a there's a question on here, guys. Uh, there's a question on here. Um, there's uh, the guy name is um Lil Trace underscore CEO. He asks, um, how can I start a business, uh, with no money? Wow. How can you? He said, how can you start? How yeah. can you start one if you don't have no money? So I'm I'm pretty much thinking I mean, that he's talking about like like a detail business or something. Well, first. Can you start a detail? How, well, I, I got a couple ideas with you. Easy, it's pretty easy. Start a detail with no, start a business, no money. Create an Instagram page, create a Facebook page, create a Google page. Um, create flyers. Go out there, not door to door. You're starting a business without no money. <laughs> You're creating your customer page. So all you got to do is go out there and go buy your product. Um, so do anything to advertise, to market, um, to just basically draw in customers all you got to do now is just get your money to go buy your product go buy your material go buy what you need to go do the job but you already got the customer base lined up family and friends start off with those oh, you got that's what uh, uh, that's why i started at. I, 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 you know what I, mean? I started man i started man let me tell you i started in my driveway in my neighborhood I started detailing cars because I always watched my brother. My brothers and them, they always had old schools, the rims on it, clean, looking nice, and they always kept them clean. I was raised, I was raised around that, keeping cars clean. My my brothers knew uh, wiping down you, cars and all that stuff, so I was attracted to that. I was always attracted to that, so that's, you know, that's what made me want to even be a part of this detail world, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, Hey man, it's that passion, man. It's that drive, man. It's to the point, man. I love this game so much. I ain't even. I don't have to do this for no money. I can pull up on somebody and just, man, you know what? Let me do your car. Just cause I'm, I'm feeling good today. I, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know God gonna bless me in another way. I, I don't need your money. You know what I'm saying? Come on, straight up. You know Come on, man. With, um, Come on. Anybody in the live? Anybody in the live right here? I'm gonna answer this guy's question that got pinned. So. Without any prejudice, without any like disrespect to anybody, anybody in here work a full time job. Nobody work a full time job. This guy is asking, when did he know? Basically, when did he leap to take the jump and go full time? Um, that's the hardest question, man. To know when to fire your boss. That's the hard hardest question. Well, I tell you what, because I tell you what, because yeah. I had a job and not too long ago, I used to work for the Honda dealer. And I and I was the manager of the yep. detail department. I work five days a week, Monday through Friday, right? I don't really get a chance to do my thing until Saturday and Sunday. I ran that play for a whole year and a half, right? I ran that play till it got to the point to where I didn't want to even be there no more because I already knew what type of money I was generating through my own way, right? So, like I was telling one touch, you will notice when it's time for you to move on or, or, or 
It's just like when you, it's just like when you getting better with your craft, or you know, you starting off doing maintenance and you want to start doing paint correction. You know when you're ready to start doing paint correction. You know when you're ready to just put, touch that wheel. You know when your your body gonna talk to you. It's just like anything else. You know what I'm saying? So right. I just got to that point. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with it, man. I think um, I think I'm ready to just you know fly on my own. And when I made that decision, and how I know it was the correct decision because I didn't have no butterflies when I left out that office. I wasn't worried about how I was going to do this, how I was going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't been down this road before and left many of the jobs and be like, damn, man, I don't know how I'm going to pay this. I don't know how I'm going to pay that. Man, what my girl going to say? Man, huh, 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 huh. It was none of that. You know what I'm saying? It was none of that. And that's because, you know what I'm saying, I walked with my faith to God, you know what I'm saying? You know, this the spirit of God, he already let me know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be all right. And guess what? I've been away from that job for a year and some change now. And I'm and I've been all right. And I progress and I prosper. And things have changed for me. So most importantly, bro, best thing I can say, believe in yourself, believe in your craft, believe in your vision. Because nobody's going to believe in those things but you until it come into fruition. When you come into fruition and people start seeing you have some type of fruits and berries from, 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 from your vision, then that's when they're going to start believing you. But they can stay over there now because we all right over here now. So that's the best advice I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? If you, know, if you have an a, 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 a issue or... You know, you feeling like you don't know which way to go. You know, you uh, you, you kind of torn or whether I want to run my business or do I want to continue working for this company. You gonna know when it's time. For, it's going you gonna know when it's time to move. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. Oh, so. Yeah. It's really how bad? How bad? Do you, how bad do you want it? I mean, you got so many different platforms over um, all these. You know, DoorDash and all this stuff, right? I, so I, I, I didn't keep no I, job. I just I, do, well, I left. I, I, do, I, I, hey, I do that right now. <laughs> I do that right Yo, now. Hold on. Hey, I do. Hey, I, hey, I pay for this gas. Yo, hey, well, yeah, I ain't cleaning no car. I'm door dashing. Go ahead, one touch. Listen, why? Hold on, why? This is true story, yo. True story. I'm gonna be real. This is true story. It was, I went to go to the car dealership and get my car, and um, the car dealership you can kind of hear shit, whatever. So it was a kid in there. And he's getting a car, and the car payment was more than what he expected for. So I'm like, yo, listen, bro. You know, I don't know what you do for business. I don't know what you do for work. Whatever you do, I don't know what you do. But, you know, all you got to do is think about Uber or DoorDash or whatever. I said, if you, if you, let's say DoorDash for X amount of time, you're going to make your car payment money that you was short. You know what I mean? But, you know, the kid never... Never even thought about that. He's like, oh, my God, man, thank you. Da, 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 da. I needed this car for school. And you know what I mean? So just giving that dude that, that idea of, like, yo, you can go door dash, bro, or you can go do this. Exactly. That dude was excited, bro. So don't exactly. don't sleep on the opportunities of self-employment. You're still exactly. self-employed. Check, check this out. I was door dashing, handing out cards. I was placing vending machines, DoorDash, 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 car wash, car wash, hopping out of the car, <laughs> cleaning cars, handing cars to people in buildings. Can I place the vending machine? Going to get a U-Haul, grabbing the vending machine, placing it, DoorDash, DoorDash, over, 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 bro. How, how, do you want it? <laughs> it's just you, you, overtime. I was getting no sleep, though. Hey, I, 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 Hey, you hey, know we got them done. I have a, I have a. Uh, uh, this was, this was, this was right before a pandemic. I was working at Walmart. I was, and this is, this is going back to answering the, uh, the guy's question about when you know, uh, when to scale away from your uh, full time business. I was working at Walmart. I was working overnight at Walmart, and um, 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 watched. He know that I had a big trailer. I had a big trailer. It was. Uh, Pretty, it was a six by twelve trailer, so um, I kept it attached to my truck, and I went to work. Uh, mm -hmm. My 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 business uh, my employers uh, seen that I detailed cars, so my hour, my break was an hour long. I would I would use my break to go wash their cars for free. The 
We had the whole Wal wow. we had the whole Walmart there. parking lot for free. The lights and stuff was on. So I I I, I thought about, I, I said okay, <laughs> it's about sixty it's about sixty people that work at Walmart right now. If I can at least do all their cars within right. this whole week, and they I told them if they go tell somebody, I'll do this for free. Do you know that every single one of them the, the they they told somebody. And, and that's what boosted my confidence yeah. to say, okay, now I think I'm ready to to uh, walk away. And once I did that, that's when the pandemic started. I I literally was doing like one car a week for like 30, 40 bucks. I was only making enough money to put gas in my trailer and, and get home. So a, a lot of a lot of it was just it just faith, like like Wash was saying. I mean, everybody everybody's going to have a different story on why they. Walked away from their job, but at the end of the day, your your inner man is gonna tell you, "Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready," and you just you just gotta have faith and just jump out there and go do it. Exactly. So let me give you my example, basically. Um, so, um, I, I'm a, I'm a, I have a CDL license. I have a Class A license. Um, I'm still you know I don't drive trucks right now, but I have a Class A license and. Um, I was a truck driver uh, at the time when I was detent. I had a shop currently, and I used to go to work. And after I got off of work, I used to rush to my shop to go detail a car and stay at my shop for like seven o'clock at night. You know, and like you said, you would know. You know what I mean? It's like how much late nights are you going to keep spending coming home at eight, nine o'clock at night? You know what I'm saying? Or you know, you working mm -hmm. six seven days a week so like you know once your business start getting into a, a certain volume and a certain amount of customers you'll be like all right i think i'm ready because you know you know like i got a certain amount of customers you know along with the faith but you physically know all right i have x amount of customers calling me you know you, you can see your work performance you can see the results you can hear the feedback from the people what they're telling you so you know that you got something going i feel like once you get that created in your mind and you get that drive going in your head is like all right i think it's time to leave my job but you know you got to understand when you leave your job it's no man, looking it's no back more, it's no um child support hold on there's no more child support coming out with your payments automatically it's no more medical you know what i'm saying this is all on you now brother so you got to understand once you fire your boss this comes along with the play you know, so are you ready to, to run your business and manage the business and be able to help yourself financially with the with the benefits, like health wise and benefit wise? Are you ready to handle that? You know, you got to ask yourself that. You know what I mean? Because paying for medical out of pocket is expensive, bro. That's true. People don't talk about that. Paying for a medical out of pocket is expensive. Hold on, I'm going to go deeper. An accountant to be a tax is expensive. So, you know, buying your own product is expensive. I'm not trying to steer nobody away, but this is the realism of coming into a business and firing your own boss. You know, when you when you're a boss, you could call out sick. You know what I mean? You don't got to worry about that. You got sick days. You still could get paid. When you working for yourself and you sick, you don't get paid, brother. When it's Christmas, you don't get paid, brother. New Year's Eve, when everybody partying, drinking, you don't get paid for that if you ain't working. So are you ready to do all that work? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have a account that do my taxes. Tax attorney. Yeah. But um, you know, it's, just, it's just a lot of stuff that come along with it. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to scare nobody away, but I just want you to be real and understand that, okay, yes, you're ready to leave your job. Yes, you're ready to start a business, but are you ready to pay your own taxes? Are you ready to pay for your own medical? Are you ready to pay for your own dental? I care. You know what I'm saying? And that's you. When you, you, when you get it. sick. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> when you get sick, your kids get sick. Bro, this is happening to me. And I'm going to be real with you, bro. I didn't tell nobody. My car got told two days before Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? So shit happens fast, bro. So you got nobody relying on. You got no sick days. I can't call out of work. Who am I going to call? 
<laughs> my car is cold. Who my car? I still gotta go to work, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I, so, are you ready for that lifestyle? You know what I mean? This, this, you know, posting every day, going out there, meeting and talking to people every day. I, I used to talk to myself, bro. I never talked to nobody, so I had to get to a comfort zone where I can go out there and speak to people, hand out business cards, hand out flyers, go to network events. You know, this is a, a 24 hour living event becoming your own boss. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Right. Hey, the, hey, the, hey, this Bible scripture, this Bible scripture pops up in my head. It says a man without there a vision it is. will perish. There it is. Right. A man without a vision will perish. So a lot of people lose sight of the vision or they don't even have a vision. And I guess that's they just want money, cars, and clothes and, and homes. Let's be real. Yeah. And with that kind of vision, I mean, you 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 gonna perish. It's in vain, right? So right. With the right vision, that's gonna drive you. But when you lose sight of that it's vision, gone. bro, it's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. gone Vanish. Vanish. You know. Gone. It's gone. Yeah. Seriously. You know. And I, I like I said, I'm just not trying to scare nobody away. I just want somebody to really open up your mindset because you might really say damn i might be ready for a business but after i break it down to you all the stuff that trickle down effect you know you might come to realize and say shit you know what i might need to take a couple of steps back and and think about it you know what i mean i think i'm ready i'm ready to work seven days a week from 5 30 a.m to 7 30 p.m okay what about your family bro you got no family mm. your kids gonna need to see you too so you ready you want to work over 12 hours a day, no problem. It's not a problem. Seven days a week, I, your I, body going to be messed up. You got to give me so that's that's Hold on, wait one second. Well, I got you, Wash. I used to do the same thing, work seven days a week. I started to kill myself. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I was the man. I'm working seven days a week. Yeah, hoorah. Your girl mm -hmm. don't get to see you. Your kids, hey, dad, what, what the hell? Your body, mm -hmm. all you do is sleep. Thanks. Go ahead, Wash. Yeah, hey, you just hit the nail on the head right there. You are, yeah. you, 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 hey, you, you said it all right there. You know, you, you, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's not possible. It's not possible for you to keep working at that, at that, at that, at that, at that pace. You are gonna wear your body possible, down. Bro. You trying to go out there and do 10, 20 cars a day? You gonna wear down, bro. You are gonna break them ten cars down to three to four. And that's where, I'm a truck, and, I'm and a that's where, and, you, and that's I'm where you're gonna start driver. learning how to price your vehicles. When you stop doing ten cars yeah. and you break them down to yeah. three, yeah, that's when you're gonna learn how to price your vehicles because you're gonna make sure you get you getting your money because you're only doing three cars a day. Of course, let me see what he's saying. His comments going crazy. Um, hey, Swift, hey, but, Swift, but you a little bit, you a little bit faster with the comments, bro. You want to help me out here? Hey, they going crazy. Hey, hey, hold on for a second. Hey, go ahead. So, that's when we, we, we can't lose sight of the Lord because once we start getting consumed and I got to get this, I got to get that, you know what I mean? He says, seek his kingdom first, right? And his righteousness, his righteousness. So we got to have our foundation on that. What, are, what is our business for? It, you know what I mean? Yes. I heard you say foundation, but we got to make sure we have that foundation. We're out here literally to be fishers of men. That's what we are supposed to be doing. We're supposed to care and love people so much. Bro, I'm using this outlet. And people are opening up. God is sending people. I just got a, a brother baptized. Said I watched your videos for a whole year. Random. I'm two minutes from the house, right? Wow. And this dude says, after we talked 30 minutes detail, and I said, brother, you seek the Lord first? He's like, ah, oh, man, like, you know, I'm struggling in this area, this, this, and that. I said, you ready to give your life to him? He said, I'm ready right now. This man prayed for five, like five minutes to himself, repenting, repenting. I said, brother, you ready to be baptized? This man said, let's do it. Bro, we set it up. The next day, he came. I got baptized, and I'm building an army for. You know what I mean? That's what I wanted to represent. So that's how you don't lose sight. That's how you don't get consumed in the money, cars, clothes, and this and that. We got to do the our Father's will. So we can't get distracted and doing this business stuff, bro. Just like that, the enemy creep in, right? Dang, I got to get this house. I got to get this. Oh, snaps! I got to get this other van. Like, hold on, I serve a God. Hold on, I serve a God that's over all this. I just lost sight, so we got to make sure, Lord, forgive me. You know what I mean? Forgive me for stressing about this. Forgive me for this anxiety or whatever. I can't fix We can't lose sight of that. What's our, what is your foundation? Mm -hmm. We say that Christ is in this, but is he really in it? What is your business glorifying? Like, is it glorifying him or is it glorifying you? 
And this, I'm speaking to myself right now. Like, real talk, I'm speaking to myself. Whenever I find myself out of, out of line with that, I repent and correct that. So just, I just want to get that to everybody out there that call themselves a believer in Christ. Don't lose sight of that. And you won't, you won't lose. You know what I mean? You want to win inside. It's going, it's going to be blessed. It's going to flourish. I get a lot of people in my inbox. You know what I mean? How do I do that? How do you do this? I, it's, it's the Lord. Stay in his will and his way. It's going to work. How is it going to fail? <laughs> it can't fail because it's the Lord that's mm -hmm. leading it. That's it. We'll see. Right. Yeah, amen. Change change my perspective. Yeah. Amen. Change my perspective. Amen. Do you know? Amen. Pretty boy. Let me talk about this energy in the water. Hey Hunter, I don't know uh what type of time you got, man, but you know, we don't wanna take up we don't wanna take up too much of your time. Okay, okay, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I got somebody waiting to get on. I, I All right, I'm a on, but I, Say to you. Now you good, Hunter. I appreciate it, man. Hey. Thank you, man. Seriously. Hey, we, we do this was, every Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So everybody on here, man, y'all make sure y'all tune in good. Mondays. Everybody is welcome. We're going to have more content, and hopefully we'll have more guests like Hunter coming along and, and showing and, show, and sharing some of their journey and, and, and giving some of this good information and, and, and trying to lead some of you guys into the right direction, man. So shout out to Hunter, man. We appreciate you, brother. Go follow his page and his YouTube right, as well. He got great content, and y especially for y'all. Especially man, for y'all. Everybody man. on here already following <laughs> him, but just in case you not, That's don't follow That's him. Don't I'm follow me. me. I need y'all to follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Go subscribe to my channel. <laughs> yeah, that's Hunter Mo. Oh, yes. Go to my page, One Touch Detailing on IG. Yes, that's Hunter on Live. Yes. I got somebody on TikTok. That's Hunter. Yeah, that's Hunter, man. Go on my, follow me on Instagram at One Touch Detailing. <laughs> Man, uh, one period touch detailing. That was a good live, guys. And um, hold, on, I got somebody ready to get on. Hold on, yeah. Yeah, I just do that. But nah, man, I, you know that was real good, man. Everybody, you know, coming to an understanding. Everybody realizing that the the ends that I was a big um, detailing, and some people want to start up a business. Business, and you know, congratulations, man. I hope that you guys get that done. You know. Why? Wow, so you want to? Man, you wanna, I just want to say, man, I just want to, uh, I just want to thank everybody for joining the live, man. I enjoyed it, man. Uh, make sure. Let's answer to this guy question, matter of fact, too, on, on the bottom. What's this guy question? Where question. are you from, brother? Uh, uh, you can't see that. He says, "Where do you? Where do you? Well, uh, well, 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 where do you guys get the chemicals from?" He go to Walmart. He says he still go to Walmart. Walmart, you better leave that alone. Man, man. find your find your local Walmart, supplier, man. Find who your local supplier okay. is in your in your area. Got I don't it. know if you got PNS in your area. I don't know if you got 3D in your area. Put it like this: if you got a a, a, a local O'Reilly's in your area, you could go to O'Reilly's and you can and you can order the superior product. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. Stay right there. You just put me on. You just. Put me on something. Oh new. yeah, they, they and they, they and they do next day delivery. I yeah. didn't know nothing about that. Run that back. I had to run that back. Put me on. I, put me on. See, you learn something new every day. Cause I don't know what they're talking about right now. This is like music and for my ears. Right some now. Some O'Reilly's have the product there in the store. This is hey, this is their product right Word. here. Superior product. You can find this at any O'Reilly's. You got to go to the counter. And you got to order it. They're going to order it for you. But they got soap. They got window cleaner. They got tire dressing. Superior product, man. It's a great product. I've been using this thing, man, for quite some time. Even though I really use PNS or I use 3D. But when I can't, when I don't have time to go to the supply store, I yeah, go by uh, O'Reilly's and I order whatever I need to them. Hey, and I keep it, and I keep it lit. You can't beat the price. I'm going to tell you that for sure. You cannot beat the price, but. This is one of my go-tos right here, superior product. And, uh, and it's funneled through any uh and it's funneled through any O'Reilly, so any... uh to Shelton's detail, yes. We do this every Monday at 8 p.m. Um 5 p.m. on the uh West Coast, 8 p.m. on the East. Every Monday. 
8 p.m. on the East, 5 p.m. on the West Coast. You're welcome to join the live. You want to uh, add me right now and accept me, uh, I I'll add you on the live. You want to commentate. At Superior 876, what's going on, brother? Uh, what's your name? I don't know who you're talking to, but I'm One Touch Detailing. I'm Brian. I'm the owner of One Touch Detailing. Um, I'll let everybody... Watch Wax Shine, yourself. man. Watch Wax Shine Detail. Bay Area, California. Shifting Details, Bay Area, California. I want yeah. to say congratulations, too, brother. Yeah. You got Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Brazil, Brazil, son. We got a few brothers in here from Brazil. You know what I mean? I want to say congratulations. Thank you guys for tapping in and joining the Make sure y'all go follow my... Y'all make sure y'all go follow my... Uh... <laughs> My YouTube page. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all follow me on YouTube, yeah. man. I got some great, I got some great stuff thank over you, there, man. You, I got some you. great stuff on YouTube. Go check out some of my videos, man. Like, subscribe, hit the notification Listen, bell, man. Hey, y'all gonna have a good time over here. Here from Brazil, hey. Yeah, he um that guy right there created a bucket distractor, man. He got a great video on YouTube that he created a bucket distractor. Um, check it out. It's a great video. Something you could purchase. It's cheaper than a strike. There's gonna save you some money. You know what I mean? So I I would check out how he designed it. I would check out the ins and out of the bucket extractor and to see how the thing works, man. Um, I need one because I don't want to spend twenty two hundred. Don't even worry about it. It's, it's already it, it's, it's already 82. in the mail. Don't even worry about it. What? Hey, 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 one touch, hey, one touch. Hey. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I went to the man house when he was. Talking about making it, I watched him build one from scratch. And I watched him. I watched him. <laughs> when I'm talking about the carpet was horrible. It had, it had cat hair, dog hair, lizard hair. It had everything on it. It's it, man, you could it, 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 hot water extractor. My man, hey, for all y'all details out there that that can't afford the the. Fifteen hundred dollar extractor, man. The bucket extractor is a great investment. It's a great investment. And to be honest with you, and hold on. One one thing to be honest with you, I would kind of prefer something small like that too because, yo, the the extractors they kind of big, bro. They got some weight to it. You got to in and out your bed. Hey, and, and I looked at it like this: the average extractor carries five gallons of water anyway. Five or six gallons of water anyway. That's what you got in the that's what you got in the bucket. Five gallons of water. Hey. This is what hey, you hey, forgot hey, to hey, add. Hey, this is what you forgot to it. add. Your, the, 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 the extractor also you could connect it to your vacuum holes. So if you got a fifty foot reel, you 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 don't have to carry that the, the, the bucket around the car. You pull your your fifty foot holes out, hundred foot holes. And you still get that same power of suction. Yes, you can sir. you can extract you can extract from a. Uh, can you, can you yeah, see the I Yeah, I, I saw it. You just, they yeah, just where can I find it? I got uh, JC Auto. Where where Any, you sell it? I got anybody that's interested in, in the bucket extractor, just DM me on my uh, Instagram page, Watch Wax Shine DTL. Instagram me bucket extractor, and then I'll. We'll go from there. I'll give you all the information and tell you, you know, okay. how much it costs and what it take to get it and all that good stuff. Hey, hard to top. I got you. Don't even worry about it. I got you, Brody. There you go. So follow, follow, wash, and um, that's how you guys can get the bucket. Of hey, 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 one more thing. If you not hold on, hold on, wash. If you are not sure about the bucket extractor, go watch the YouTube video, check it out, and and then you can go from there. But it's a great, it's a great machine the guy created. You need to put a patent on that Fast. Patent thing, boy. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. yeah. So with that being said, guys, um, let's end the live here. Um, we're gonna do it again next week. Five o'clock. East Coast, West Coast. Five o'clock. I appreciate everybody on that that came on the live. Hunter. Hard uh, to Smith, top. Hard to top. Wash. 876. I know you ain't jump on the live. We see you, brother. We see comments. you. Uh, Shout P. out to Tampa P. P. Vogel, um, Master, Master P. 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 On the live. Um, 
uh, the kid that messed with the shrimp. Ricardo. Man, I don't remember your name. Ricardo. But, uh, Rico. I, listen, appreciate Ricardo. Um, I appreciate everybody for joining on the live, man. We're going to do it again next week, and I promise you. Shout I'm out to Kid make this one Mobile. Better. I'm going to try to have a company on the air or something, man. Seriously, man. I appreciate all you guys, man. At Happy New Year, man. We're going to do this again. Thank you. This for the community, bro. Like, this ain't just for no clown. Yes, sir. This is for the community, man. For the yes, people, sir. for the people. And I'm out.